So next we're going to do what we call the walk around inspection. Now this is the thing that is probably the easiest thing to do, um, but for me to explain it, it's going to take a bit longer because I'm going to have to talk through each section in turn. But in good summary, it really is, look at the engine, if something looks not right, you need to ask, is that okay? That's a good rule of thumb. If you're not sure or it looks wrong, it probably is. So the sort of things we're looking for are things amiss, as I say. So if we start here with a control panel and the electrical panel here, uh, does this wiring look like it's in good condition? Is there any frayed wire? Uh, is the wire secure um, as it normally is? Is anything obviously loose? All looks okay. Uh, anything secure? Harness, is that looking in good condition? Yeah, that looks like it did yesterday. All in operating order. And then we'll move around and look through here at the engine. Are there any leaks? Is there any obvious oil or fuel pooling anywhere? Uh, are any hoses looking like they're a, a, a miss or frayed, chafing? Any cracks, damage that we didn't notice before? All looks good. Down the bottom of the engine, again, any oil leaks, any fuel, any puddling on the floor? Any moisture on the frame? All looks good still. So moving around a little bit, what about the guarding for the radiator and the fan? That's all secure, nothing's vibrated or cracked or come loose. And here I can see the pipes going to and from the turbo and the air cooler, so the charge cooler. Are the hoses in good condition? Pipes in good condition? Uh, nothing looks amiss there. Let's walk around the front. The radiator core, I can't see any damage. Again, there's no coolant leaking anywhere. There's no coolant in the bottom of the frame, no coolant on the bottom on the floor. And this side again, check the guards. I can see through the guard, I can see the belt. Now on this engine, I can't get my hands physically on the belt, um, but I can see if there's any damage. I could see if it was frayed or perished, or if there was a belt indeed laying on the bottom there in the bottom of the guard. So we'll have to say that's okay as well. Remember, it's just a check. We're not actually gonna get physical and take anything apart. It's just a, a visual to make sure things are in good order. I can see the air cleaner around this side and the pipes that come from the air cleaner to the turbocharger. They all look secure and attached. And again, I'm always looking for any oil or fuel or coolant that's outside the engine where it shouldn't be. It all looks okay. And I walk around the back of the engine. Uh, this engine's not hooked up to an exhaust pipe, but if it was, we'd be looking at the exhaust outlet to make sure that's secure and not obviously leaking. And here's the fuel tank. There's no fuel drained anywhere. The fuel tank isn't um, overly dirty, so we're not gonna risk getting any too much dirt ingress. And then around the back, again, same thing. So we get right back to where we started. And are we happy? So no oil, no fuel, no coolant where it shouldn't be. Nothing was chafing, nothing looks obviously worn, nothing's obviously loose. I think I'm happy. That's a daily check, that's all it is. So please remember these videos are here to assist you. The safe source of information for any of these checks that we're doing are taken from the Operation and Maintenance Manual, which can be found as shown in the earlier video uh, on the Perkins website. And you should always refer to this as your safe source of information.